Okay, this circuit will come in very handy for people that are looking for a relay that will trigger with temperature. Now this particular one I have here goes on a small board. Depending on which transistor you use, if you use the PNP, which I use the BC557, or you can use a 2N3906, if you use that one, what will happen as this thermistor right here, which is a 10K that I used, as this detects heat, it'll trigger the relay. So this would be good for cooling. So if you have something you want to cool, like a, a, on your car, a thermostat for a fan, or a, a computer fan, anything like that, you put this where you want to monitor the temperature, and if it gets too hot, this relay will activate, turning on a fan. Now if you, if you want to have a cold detecting relay, you would take, I put a holder in right here, if you can see it, to slide the transistor out, and I could put in a NPN. I would use like a 2N3904 or a BC547, and that would convert it to make it that when this detects cold, the relay would trigger. Now, there's a lot of different uses for this, and this particular relay here will handle 5 amps, but you could actually make something like this, very simple, to control an air condition or a refrigerator. If you have a refrigerator and the electronics are fried, or the thermostat doesn't work anymore, but the compressor works and the cooling fans work for the evaporator and condenser, you can connect your compressor. Of course, you'd use a larger relay. You wouldn't use this. Use a heavier one. You connect your compressor to that relay along with the fans for the evaporator. So this could be used for a lot of different things. You could make a new thermostat for a refrigerator or an air condition. There's a lot of uses. But if you put the 2N3904 in, you just converted it to a cold sensor. Now this particular relay right here is a normally open. There's only two leads on it. All right, so the way I have it set up right now, if I apply heat to here, which I'll demonstrate right now, if I apply heat to here, it'll turn on this fan because the relay is closing. Now right down there is the potentiometer. I used a 20K and I used a 10K on the thermistor. I'll demonstrate right now, put a little bit of heat on it. This is a 12 volt supply coming in. Put a little bit of heat near it. Fan is now on. And when this cools off, the fan will go off. Let me blow on this. There it is. It's off, all right? So that's how that works. Now you can use a different relay, one that has a normally closed and normally open contact. So right now the fan would be running. All right, so you'd have a power applied to the circuit until a certain temperature is reached on the hot end. So this would have power, and actually this would be great if you had some sort of a heating element and you wanted to get to a certain temperature without burning everything up. So it happened, this would sense the temperature rise and the relay would turn it off so you wouldn't get any more heat coming in. But there's a lot of different uses. If you use this for 120 volts, just make sure you leave enough room on the relay so that it's isolated from the rest of the low voltage. This is running on 12 volts. But like I said, I added this holder because I want to be able to just pull this transistor out like that. All right, and if I want, I could push in the 2N3904, and now I could use this for, co for uh, cold sensing versus hot sensing. I'll put the link in the description box.